Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back. Okay, so now this is Shah Fahad Khan, back on your screen and we are back with foundation module guidelines for MBBS students. Okay, and we were done with anatomies, gross anatomies, basic guidelines for foundation. And today we are gonna talk about physiology. This is our second subject and second major subject. Okay, it's a major subject. Okay, major means it has a greater weightage actually one of the, the major subjects of your course is physiology. It is related to the uh, study of normal functioning of the body. This is a very precise and simplistic definition. Of course, not the official one, which is written in your books, but just uh, to give you an overview of what physiology actually means. Okay, now let's uh, move, hop on to the books. Okay, so as I told you in the guidelines of, uh, uh, about the books of MBBS and that you'll be using in your first year, uh, uh, MBBS, uh, I gave an example of this book. I gave you that this is a very Im uh, important book for physiology or actually a very good book for physiology an easy book for physiology and the major book for physiology and uh, the book that most of the students use. Okay, this is Guyton. Okay, Guyton. This is the big book, which is used for making concepts, of course. And of course, you'll find most of your chapters in here. And first year uh, foundation physiology is pretty basic. Okay, just a few chapters from here. We'll be looking onto the chapters in a bit more detail in just a bit, but this is the book, okay? And okay, this is the book for your DAO, okay? DAO exams, but, uh, or your uh, school exams. But if you are preparing for your USMLE, then there is a better book to be used for physiology and that's Costanzo. Okay, the writer's name is Costanzo and this was recommended to me by a senior who's uh, cleared the step one and he said this is this is a much better book than Guyton for USMLE, okay? But for your DAO exams or other exams or your school exams, Guyton is, the, is good, good enough, okay? But Linda Costanzo's book is also good if you want to um, use it in your DAO or in other places. Then the review book, so review books are Firdos and BRS. So you can use either of them. Most of the students use Firdos, but do students do use BRS. And the thing that I found interesting in BRS was that um, in your later modules, for example, the last module CVS or ESPO, the notes which uh, Dr. Najib makes, they are kind of summarized in this BRS book. Okay, Dr. Najib, you might have heard of Dr. Najib. We'll be talking about his videos as well in a, uh, later on in embryology section because uh, for foundation the embryology videos are mainly um, done the embryology videos are good and they are related to your course but over here um, BRS is also a good book um, BRS physiology okay there are other books for BRS of the BRS series as well okay this, these are just books for revision do not do them as the only sole books do read the book big books for physiology, okay? They are necessary. Now let's move on to the next slide. Okay, so let's just read through this. Most of the students find physiology easy, okay? And yes, that's the reality. It is easy, okay? And why is that so? Because most of the stuff has been covered. It's not new. Most of the stuff is not new. It has already been covered or you've already um, come across these topics in your previous classes, maybe. Maybe in your A-levels or inter, okay? And, uh, so it is quite small and precise in foundation module. Achha, what is small? The foundation module is not small. Foundation module is actually a very, very long module. Then what is small? It's physiology that's small, okay? There is very little physiology in your foundation module, but the basics of physiology are there and they are still very important. You do get tons of questions on your paper. Now, stuff to cover. Okay, this these topics over here, this, this is just a big, big outline of what you'll be doing in physiology. Okay, just the major things from an overview point of view, but uh, you'll be looking into them in a lot more detail when I give you the topic references, okay, from your books. Okay, so homeostasis and feedback, you already know what that is in your previous um, classes, but over here, you'll be talking in a bit more detail on these topics. Cell and its components, uh, well, somewhat the same thing which you've covered already. Cellular transport, Again, something you already know, but still you need to give it a read from physiology. And ECM, extracellular matrix, 
okay, or extracellular fluid, intercellular fluid, the matrix, everything like that. Uh, you'll come across these word, terms, so don't worry. Uh, physiology, the ECM physiology, basically. Cell signaling, cell signaling. Again, A-level students have covered this in a lot more detail in AS. Um, so this is also a very, actually cell signaling is the major topic of uh, foundation physiology. And you'll be using it uh, throughout your first year, um, first year MBBS, even in other subjects like biochemistry. So I would suggest do read this very nicely. Resting membrane potential, action potential, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, genetics and genes, replication, transcription, translation, the basic knowledge, but the processes, the details are covered in biochemistry. Okay, the enzymes and stuff, the mechanisms, etc. But over here, you'll just have a brief overview. And the stuff that you do here would be quite similar to the stuff you'll be covering in biochemistry. Okay, so this would actually cover two in one things, uh, actually covered the same topic twice in two different books. Okay, so yeah, that's that will help you uh, retain stuff easily. Okay, now references. Now this is the most important part of your uh, of this video. Okay, references. What chapters to read and from where to read. Okay, so guidance chapters that you need to read are chapter one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm not going into their names and cell signaling. This usually isn't covered in these chapters. So what you do is you uh, you take out chapter seventy four um, of 12th edition, well, I use 12th edition because this is the book I found online over here for this video, but you can use any edition. The editions don't really ma make a lot of difference because the stuff is uh, somewhat the same. Okay, it's almost the same actually. And then chapter 74 pages, 886 to 891, this needs to be covered, okay? This has all the cell signaling stuff. Even if you think the stuff is irrelevant to you, guys, please do not skip it. I have seen the stuff being uh, covered throughout your first year MBBS, meaning the stuff that is covered over here, it, it, it comes back to you somewhere, one place or the other throughout your MBBS, uh, first year of MBBS, okay? So now these are the headings that I put over here. These have been taken from your, um, the same book, uh, Guyton, Mechanisms of Action of Hormones. You'll uh, most probably find it on page 886. Okay, and you're gonna read through this and the subheadings which are which come underneath it and the headings which come in, within it, you'll find all the different types of uh, receptors, all the different types of cell signaling mechanisms, the, um, yeah, the mechanisms, the seven pass receptors or the um, other receptors, okay, the hydrophobic ones, the steroids, etc., etc., and they, they are important, of course. And then over here, when you reach to this heading, this heading doesn't need to be done, okay. But everything before this heading needs to be done. That's why I put the word exclusive over there, okay. And just uh, okay, let's uh, give an overview to the contents over here from your index page of guidance, okay. So this is chapter one, okay. Chapter one: functional organization of human. Um, body and control of the internal environment, you need to do all of it, okay? This is important. You do get questions on your um, DAO exams. From the book, okay, the values are tested as well. Do, do not skip the values. Well, most of the, some of the values can be skipped, but like the more important ones need to be retained. Then chapter two over here, cell and its functions. So you need to, again, do the entire thing. Then chapter three also needs to be done. It has all the gene related stuff, genetics basically. Then uh, till apoptosis and everything okay and again the a lot of stuff in physiology will overlap with pathology as well pathology is also a subject that is related to the diseases apoptosis will be uh, covered in a lot more detail in pathology as compared to physiology then coming to membrane physiology nerve and muscles uh, this will have the resting membrane potential and membrane potentials and everything the mechanisms to maintain it and everything else that you can think of, okay? Um, cell membrane potential, basically. Cell membrane, by the way, is actually one of the major portions of um, first year foundation physiology, okay? Lipid barrier and everything else. And then uh, chapter five also needs to be done, the membrane potentials and action potentials. And then chapter 74. Okay, uh, guys, it's chapter 74 in this edition, in the 12th edition. It might be chapter 75 or 76 or 73 in the other editions. So please do check that out, okay? The, I, I did give you the headings over here, right? So try finding these out these headings in um, those editions of book. So this is all about um, uh, physiology guidelines, okay? So basically the most important takeaway point or the takeaway slide from this uh, discussion is this one. Okay, the references basically. So these are the chapters. 
that you need to do in your physiology if you are studying in DAO or DAO related affiliated colleges. Okay. And uh, I think most of the colleges would have the same guidelines, approximately the same. Uh, they might have some chapters new or they might have some chapters less. So yeah, that's it. And I'll be making the next video on another subject, of course, it's guidelines. Thank you.